Clemson 30, NC State 20. This one was interesting. Uh, if for no other reason than the fact that, uh, <laughs> if for no other reason than the fact that DJ played really well, Clemson took control of this game early and never really gave up a lead. Uh, they won yardage 358 to 279. They won yards per play 5.4 to 4.0. They won third downs 43% to 36%. Rushing, I mean, they ran for 149 yards and held NC State to 34, which we knew NC State's not great at running the ball. But, I mean, you got to have something better than that. I mean, it was just a, a little bit of a disaster. Uh, they won turnovers 2 to nothing. Clemson did miss a 46-yard field goal try, but there wasn't a whole lot of uh, craziness to this game, really. Uh, if you if you look at, you know, the stats here, and we're going to pull it up on the screen. These are, by the way, you can find these over at GameOnPaper.com. Uh, I've got links in the description, I believe, but if, if not, GameOnPaper.com is where you find it. Uh, I mean, Clemson won average starting field position. Uh, they had uh, similar plays per drive. They had similar yards per drive. But Clemson was able to get the ball in the end zone more. Like, DJ Uyunglele looked good. This is two straight weeks. Um, Double O'Neal jumped in and said, uh, I found myself pulling for both teams in all honesty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can understand that. Stone Thomas Take said that Clemson defense was awesome and they're not even fully healthy. They were awesome, but I wonder if some of that is not NC State, right? Because they've had pro This Tim Beck offense shows so much promise and then doesn't deliver. And that's what's so irritating, I think, for a lot of people because they're not they're not awful. And you know that Devin Leary's got talent, and you know that there are things that they can do that they could be really successful at, and they just find ways to shoot themselves in the foot over and over and over again. They lost a fumble. They threw an interception. Um, there were just so many things about this that... I just I wonder how much of this was NC State stopping themselves. Because you saw, I mean, once it got later in the game, they were able to go down and score. But I I was not impressed. I was just not impressed. Uh, Devin Leary, by the way, looking at the da, 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 uh, 28 out of 47. These are the advanced stats, by the way. Uh, threw one interception, took three sacks, uh, 4.9 yards per play. He was negative .08 EPA per play. I mean, it's it's not good. Uh, I just, I don't know. He he did have one rushing touchdown. He had four carries for 19 yards. But there's there's things that need to be fixed with this offense. That's the biggest issue. And it's not all Clemson like we were just talking about. It, it's not that Clemson defense. It is, we saw this offense have trouble with East Carolina, right? It, we saw this offense not be great against Texas Tech. So, Stone Thomas, good point. It uh, it just felt in big moments Clemson's defense flexed it. Yeah, no, they certainly did. I mean, they definitely rose to the challenge. I I just wonder exactly how good the Clemson defense is. I mean, we saw them get shredded by a good passing game in Wake Forest. Now, I don't know how many teams are going to be left on the schedule that actually have a passing game comparable uh, to Wake Forest because they've got NFL receivers there. Um, Florida State, maybe. I guess. I mean, that's a possibility. Uh, let me pull up exactly what Clemson's schedule looks like. That's uh, that's an interesting question now that I'm thinking about it. Da, da, da. And, of course, we swapped it back over. Uh, Clemson's schedule looks like... Da, da, da. Uh, they've got Boston College this week. They've got Florida State right after that. they got Syracuse. they got Notre Dame. they got Louisville. they got Miami. And then, of course, uh, South Carolina. I mean, maybe if maybe if we get uh, <laughs> Double O'Neal, I think Clemson survived against NC State. I, I wouldn't say survived. Uh, I think Clemson had control of that ballgame. Uh, I don't know that there's anybody left on the schedule other than maybe Florida State. Uh, and, if, and Miami, if you get Tyler Van Dyke playing well, that is going to be able to do some of the things that Wake Forest did against them. Uh, this team looks like they are set. Uh, they they are going back to the ACC championship game. I don't think they got anything to worry about. Nothing to worry about with that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.